With all the different levels of assist available on your e-bike, it's all too easy to forget about the one that provides the least assist possible. And today we're talking walk mode, but fear not, walk mode is not just for walking with your e-bike, it is so much more. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to get the most from it. So what exactly is walk mode? Well, it's a mode on your e-bike that's designed to take the weight of the bike when you're pushing the bike alongside a trail that you can't necessarily climb up, something like a steep, muddy bank. It's by no means a throttle. All it's gonna do is propel that bike along at walking pace, hence the name. The way walk mode is gonna be engaged on systems will vary across the different brands. So let's take a look at a few of the most popular brands. First up, Shimano. You need to scroll through the power modes until you hit the off selection. Press it once more to select walk. You need to press and hold the button all the time when you want that walk assist. Next up, Bosch with the Purion. Now Bosch has a separate button on the base of the display for the walk mode. This needs to be pressed once to select it. Then you need to press and hold the plus button on the display to activate the walk mode. You need to press this button quick after selecting walk mode, otherwise it may disappear. Now specialized in Yamaha, it's super simple. There's one button on the control switch on the handlebars that it will have a walking man or a shoe picture. This needs to be pressed all the time to engage walk mode. One thing to think about is the angle that you set your walk button at. Now this needs careful consideration. It's quite tempting to have it with an easy reach on your handlebars from a riding position, but you don't need that walk button when you're riding your bike along. When you do need to reach for the walk button, you're gonna be alongside your bike because you're pushing it. So just make sure it's within reach and also at a comfortable angle too, because some of those walks can be pretty lengthy at times. Now there may be a few problems when it comes to using walk mode. First up, you might not actually even have it on your bike. Some countries actually disabled walk mode because it doesn't meet with the laws for their country. Number two, is that you're not pressing the button down. You need to hold that button down at all times to engage walk mode. And number three is that you might not have pressed the button quick enough. Systems like Bosch will actually default back to a base setting if you don't select that walk mode and press the button quick enough, meaning that it won't engage and you'll be left slogging that bike up the hill. Now you can, of course, use walk mode for its intended use, getting you and the bike to the top of the climb. Now all you need to do for this is just scroll down, get walk mode engaged, then stand clear of your bike because the cranks will actually spin when you engage walk mode, and the bike will go up the hill automatically. And if you're not feeling there's a lot of punch coming from the motor and you're in those easier gears, just try knocking it down a few gears to the middle of the cassette, and that way it's gonna give you a bit more punch to the top of the climb. Now we've all been in this classic trail situation. You've just done a massive climb to the top of the trail. You've been talking to your mates at the trailhead and you've forgotten to get into the right gear to drop into the trail behind your mates. You drop in and you're spinning away in first gear whilst your mates disappear off down the trail. Well, this is a nice little hack for walk mode. So all you need to do is straddle your bike, get off of your saddle, scroll down to you've got walk mode selected. You've got walk mode engaged. Then you're just gonna hold the front brake on and pivot the bike onto the front wheel whilst holding the front brake. Press your walk mode and get the gear you want ready to drop into the trail rather than crunching those gears as you go. So I've got the gear selected, I'm all set to go. Scroll back up to boost mode, whichever trail mode you wanna hit the trail in and get down and catch your mates up. Now your e-mountain bike is a pretty capable tool when it comes to climbing. Now it's not often that you'll come to a stop, but if you make a bad line choice or you get a bit of wheel spin, you're gonna to come to a grinding halt. Now if you wanted to carry on that attack on the hill and swap out to an easier gear to get to the top of it, then there is a risk of snapping chains or a horrible gear crunching sound coming from your cassette. Now this little tip is pretty similar to the stationary gear change, but it will save you from that possible chain snap or crunching sound coming from your cassette. So all we're gonna do is stop sideways on the hill this time, select your walk mode, and then get your walk mode, hold the front brake, pivot the bike up onto the front wheel again, get our walk mode engaged, then we're gonna select our easiest gear. So we're going to our first gear, 
So once that back wheel touches down, engage boost mode. So you're in easiest gear, boost mode engage. Focus on your line, pedal away gently, and be glad of not snapping your chain. So for the electric wheelbarrow technique, once again, you're gonna scroll through your menu to your walk function or press your button to engage that walk mode. What you're gonna do is hold onto both brakes, rock the bike onto the back wheel. Once you feel it's in its balance point, then engage walk mode, let go of your brakes, and you'll feel that bike want to pull you up the hill. Great thing about this is it's really good for spotting lines, and you've only got one point of contact, meaning that you're not gonna get all snagged up by those horrible rock steps. Great way to get to the top of the hill. So there we are, walk mode is so much more use than just walking with your bike out in the woods. A few different hacks there for you. Let us know which one you like down in the comments box below. And if you've got any hacks on how you use walk mode, be it in the workshop or out about on the trail, love to hear them too. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN. And don't forget to give us a find and a follow on your social media too. Thanks for watching and use that walk mode to the best you can.